Good morning, Bird Brains. Welcome back to the Dynamo Build Series, episode 10. Today's episode is gonna be a, uh, a little bit different. But before I get into details about that, I do wanna welcome on today's sponsors. On today's episode, we do not have one sponsor. We do not have two sponsors. We actually have three separate sponsors sponsoring this episode. First up, a company that has been on the channel before, a company that you guys really enjoyed and showed a lot of love to. They were able to actually get send out some more parts because of that, and that is going to be Bunking. Bunking sent out a set of gorgeous black pegs. Unfortunately, we do not have them yet, but that's okay, and I'll tell you why here in a second. Next up on the list is a powerhouse in the motocross industry, finally getting into the street scene, especially the Dynasty, scene. I absolutely love this company, Hammerhead Designs. Hammerhead Designs makes some of the best foot controls in the game, and I am super excited to announce that I will be rocking their shift lever as well as their rear brake pedal. Once again, these haven't arrived yet, but that's okay. And last, but certainly not least, is a local sponsor, local here to San Antonio, and that is GTZ Powder Coating. One reason why I reached out to GTZ, not only because of his awesome work, but he also is a veteran, and you guys know me, I support our military 100%. I love giving back to veterans. I love giving back to local companies. So Rob over at GTZ was nice enough to partner with the channel and is going to be doing all of the powder coating on the Dyna. Speaking of powder coating, that is what we're going to be doing today is removing the rest of the parts off of the Dyna to get ready to send to powder coating this weekend. So this weekend, I'm actually gonna be taking you guys along with me over to GTZ Powder Coating. We're gonna check out Rob's shop, we're gonna check out some of his work, and you're actually gonna get to see some of the pieces getting stripped and powder coated before they go back on the bike. So first things first, I hate working in a dirty garage. I'm gonna get things cleaned up. I got a little bit of time before the guys come over and the live stream starts. So I'll check back in with you guys once that time comes. You done? Clown set! Thank you. <laughs> so quick update. It's been a while since I checked in with you guys. So what we have done so far, both levers came off extremely easy. Steering stem came off very easy. Horn cover came off very easy. Then the trouble started. Trying to get the damn brake pedal off was freaking stupid. What kind of design is this, Harley? Where you put the pin in from the inside so you take the whole <laughs> thing off and then done. I'm done with this. And then that was just the tip of the iceberg because then we got, where's that, where's that stupid kickstand? What is this? What are those? <laughs> Seriously, what kind of freaking stupid jacked up claw having dick licking thing is this? 
So done. So let's check the list. All right, levers done. Can you shut up? Thank you. Levers done, steering cover done, horn and horn mount done, air cleaner cover done, kickstand. Ah! Can you? Yeah. Uh, we got the brake, uh, shifter pegs, dashboard. These are all secondary, so we don't have to get these done tonight. We have to get the shock covers done, so that's gonna be next. All right, let's get to work. All right, so in case you were having a hard time kind of seeing what I was doing. So these pieces initially covered right here on the shock. Problem is, is this little notch that was in it was too small to fit around the new shocks. So what I was doing, I was cutting out this lip, that way it will fit over the shock covers. And these are gonna be sent to powder coating to match all the other parts, so. Now these are done. So that takes care of cutting the shock covers. Now we can focus on the shifter pegs and I'm gonna see if I can separate the dash to get the uh, ignition ring thing here. Uh, thanks to the assistance of Uncle Ken here. Nailed it. So, we've pretty much got everything taken care of. Pegs, shifter, gone. Steering stem cover, gone. Covers have been cut, they're over there. You're gonna have to just trust me on that one. Tail lights, off. Wheel, that's completely unrelated. Peg and brake lever on this side, gone. Air cleaner, cover, gone. And when I say gone, I mean they're actually over here in a box. All this stuff will be getting dropped off at uh, GTZ powder coating. If you notice, that's not my horn cover, but Uncle Ken wanted my flat black one, so we traded since mine's gonna get coated anyways. So. All right guys, so uh, let's head on over to uh, GTC powder coating. And we're back. It is now Sunday. We are here at GTC powder coating. Got Uncle Ken with us. And uh, we're about to get the parts taken in and start getting down to work with them. So let's uh, go watch other people get to work.
All right, guys, so a few days have passed since that last scene that you saw. Robert has been working away, slaving away, getting these parts ready for me in about six days or so. So he's been hauling butt on them. He's already sent me pictures. They look absolutely amazing. So let's go get them. Oh, and Miss Bird's with us too. All right, so let's go get them. Robert! What's up, man? What's up? You been slaving away in here? Yeah, I just forgot to put my gun away. Oh, that's so perfect. Oh, it looks three, even better in person, three dude. Powders to make this bad boy. So it's a silver, and then the and then the freaking uh, the silver, the red, and then the clear coat. I put a clear coat on all the red ones. All the red pieces. Yeah, and then the black ones don't need no clear coat, but the red does. Man, it looks so. The camera does not do it justice. It Seeing it in person bad. for the first time does not do it justice. That's, oh, those hammerhead parts. Oh, so that's God. that. And then you got the freaking bezels. Oh, man. Came out. And you got the clutch levers. Oh, yeah. oh, that looks so. Like I said, yeah, man, the camera just doesn't do it justice. Nah. Which oh, it looks so good. So good. So I couldn't really take any good pictures because. I work real late and shit. I yeah, to come home and it's then dark. <laughs> it's already dark, and I can't be like taking pictures at work and shit. Where my life? There's that. There. Uh, oh yeah, the, the viewers black. actually don't know about this piece. <laughs> yeah, the gloss black. Oh man, so that's taped off right there. That they, got, they got taped off, and that's all that's black. That is no powder. Oh so nice. Where the belt goes. Oh gosh. Yeah, that, that. You look at mm. the turns. Yeah. Dude, that looks better than paint. Yeah. Like, that is insane. Where I want to see that air cover. Air cover is Oh my god. Look at that. You All can right. see his reflection in it. And you can see the camera. You can see the yeah. camera. <laughs> That's the wrong cover. Oh my god. And then those are the other turn signals there. And then the freaking little bezels. Oh man. That's gonna look so dumb. So yeah, everything that we plugged up is plugged up. I didn't nice. Know. I went under the freaking. And then that part I left it just the way it is. I yeah, yeah. So here I'll go. I'll get you. I'll take you. Well, before we get to that, I did say I come bearing gifts. So uh, got you a bike and bird decal, which uh, you can get at uh, bikeandbird.com. That's nothing special <laughs> okay. about that. But hey, 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 hey. only the truest of OGs, the people that are closest to the channel. Oh, yeah, my little joy tires. Only the closest to the channel get a modified. So I made you your own GTZ. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Your oh, own GTZ bike and bird logo. And, hey. <laughs> and then of course, uh, Uncle Ken sent over some of his no, world famous shit. worm dirt here. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to that's have legit. this for sale as well. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> appreciate all your hard work legit. and getting this turned Bro, around so fast. Look at that. This is my favorite piece <laughs> out of everything, man. Look at that. Feel oh, that. That's, that's three layers of powder. Smooth as shit, shit man. man. God, I can't wait to get these pieces off. I want you to see the video and the picture and shit. Man, I love the uh, the levers, how you can still see the machining. I know the camera's probably not going to pick this up, but you can, oh yeah, right here you can kind of see it. The machining, you can still see it. That is, oh, so good. And that HD just pops. There you go. Oh, man. Man, what's going to look so good is this part just kind of peeks over that black horn cover. So it's just gonna, you're just gonna barely see the top portion of it back behind it. Ugh! If everything goes right, we'll have it all done by tomorrow evening, so. All right guys, so sorry that kind of just kind of trailed off there. Um, I wanted to kind of get out of there as quickly as possible. Like I mentioned, it was almost 10 o'clock when I picked those parts up, so I wanted to get out of Robert's hair so he could go, you know, sleep and stuff. But we got all the parts back. They look absolutely gorgeous. They look so much better in person. The camera does not do them justice. So we're back in the garage now. Got Uncle Ken with us. And uh, I believe someone else just showed up. Dying. Oh, it's just dying. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the pulley back on the rear tire and get that back on the bike first and then start dicking with everything else because it's gonna be one of those days where it's gonna be long, it's gonna be tedious, we're gonna run into a shit ton of problems. And yeah, it's just one of those days where we're expecting problems. So we're just gonna kind of have to roll with the punches today and just kind of grind it out. So let's get to work.
a quick update here of what we got so far. We've got one rear turn signal on, uh, looking mighty fine. Donnie is in the process of fixing the second one that I royally screwed up. So thanks to Donnie, he's kind of the our, our last resort go-to because he's got the patience to sit down and solve a problem that we don't. So uh, if uh, you're looking for a, a nice relationship and you need a patient man, Donnie is, yeah. you, can, you can look him up at uh, Damn it, Donnie at mylittlepony.com. <laughs> I really do appreciate the work that he's doing. <laughs> uh, we, uh, while they were doing that, me and Uncle Ken tackled the front turn signals. We did confirm that they work. They both uh, turn on, so the other one, just trust me. And then, after that, I went ahead and tackled the air cleaner, which is uh, on there, super, super shiny there, so you can see my face. That's me. Hi. Hi. And uh, I guess now it's time to move on to some of the red parts. I'm excited for that. You're excited? I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. So a quick update, I have to make this one really quick because my phone's about to die. Sorry I didn't get you guys an update for quite some time. It was a lot of little nitpicking issues here and there. Everyone else has left. Uncle Ken stayed here because he's real OG. Uh, wrap up of what we got done today. Horn cover and horn bracket are on. Also, the camera makes it look a lot more pink than it really is, especially with that one. But trust me, it's it's not pink. It's it's actually a v almost too dark of a red. The camera does not uh, pick up this color very well. Um, levers are on. Uh, we got the brake lever. Well, I say we. It was mostly Ken. I got too pissed off with it and gave up. Uh, shock covers are on. Uh, air cleaner cover is on. That looks great. Uh, front turn signals, we got wired back up and running no issue. Rear turn signals, we are having an issue with this one. Uh, this was the original one that we did. That's the first one I did. That's the first one I messed up on. We were not able to get that back in working order. Uh, there's a short somewhere, so I'm going to have to order some parts to get that fixed. Uh, we got the rear tire on. We got the pulley, which I don't think I mentioned in the other episode. It is now in gloss black. It is uh, pretty gorgeous. Uh, kickstand we did get on. We think that's not 100% sure on that. And I think that's it. We couldn't get the, the shift lever on. Well, we could get the shift lever on, but I don't want to put that on until we have pegs because that's going to adjust where we need to mount and everything like that. So not doing that just yet. Uh, hopefully the pegs will be here sometime soon. I'm crossing my fingers for Monday. Um, they're obviously not going to get delivered tomorrow because tomorrow's Sunday. Man, it's going to be a three-day episode. And I know this video is running pretty long at this point, so I maybe apologize. I don't know. You guys seem to like the longer video, so maybe you're welcome. Maybe I'm sorry. I don't know. But uh, we've been working on this bike for coming up on 10 hours now. 10 hours. So we're going to just call it quits for tonight. We're going to go grab a bite to eat, and I'll see you guys in two seconds for you. So here we go. 
And we're back for another day of building. This might be the longest build series as far as like start time of filming to end time of filming. I can't even, I can't even track what, what I even talked about. So just to give you a rundown of what we have left to do so far. We have to get the pegs on, which I'll show you here in a second. Adjust the foot control on the brake side. Put the peg on the uh, clutch side here as well as put on the shifter lever and adjust the uh, clutch lever here. So going back to the pegs, um, they finally showed up. Uh, it was partially my fault because I didn't realize that the package was small to fit my mailbox and I don't check my mailbox except for like once a week. So they might've been there Saturday, but anyways, here they are, the bunking grabber pegs. These things are very nice, um, very sharp, very grippy, uh, adjustable here on the inside, so you're able to loosen that and put it at whatever angle you want. And also, one thing I was worried about was um, how short they looked online, but when you put it next to a, uh, a stock peg, they're really only about maybe an inch shorter, if that. So they're still uh, they're still wide enough to, to have a, lot, a big platform to stand on. And then I also got in a, uh, a present from our folks over at Quadlock. Quadlock sent over the uh, handlebar mount kit. It's a simple little system. If you're familiar with uh, Rockform, very similar design. Comes with the phone case, which is on the phone that you're actually being recorded on. And they also sent me over the uh, poncho, which makes the uh, phone completely waterproof while you're out riding. So I decided that we should uh, go ahead and throw that on today as well. I was able to find a uh, replacement cable for that tail light. Thanks to my good buddy, John Maxwell, fellow YouTuber who has already passed me as subscribers. Great job, John. I passed me in like four months. God damn. Like, no, but for real, his content is great. He is definitely deserving of that. And uh, he was able to find me that cable and he sent it out to me completely free of charge. Shout out to Chattanooga Harley Davidson for uh, supplying him with that. But that's pretty much our agenda for today. So I know you guys are probably at like minute 20 or so on the, the build series. I don't know where it's actually at. But uh, Uncle Ken's on his way over here. We're actually not going to live stream this part because it should be a quick and easy boom, bang, firepower, get it done. And this is the last time that we actually have to work on the bike before this weekend, which we do have a ride plan for this weekend. Probably not going to happen because of weather, but if in case it does happen, I want to have the Dyna up and running and ready to go. So we got to focus on that and I've got no more words, so let's get to work.
All right guys, so we're pretty much wrapping it up here. Uh, what you just saw us do is we put on the foot controls and after we put on the foot controls, we had to adjust the foot controls. So thankfully I had uh, Uncle Ken here to help me out with that and uh, made the job a whole lot easier. So we got the pegs adjusted. The, wow, I wish I could have showed you guys that. <laughs> the pegs adjusted, the brake lever adjusted, clutch adjusted, uh, ship lever adjusted. So everything is now adjusted and good to go. But before you guys get the full cinematic reveal, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the bike down since it has not been washed since the Twisted Sisters ride and it is filthy as hell. So give it a quick wash and then I'll cut to the cinematics. Well, folks, there you have it. That is the end of Build Series Episode 10. Thank God. I didn't think we were ever going to get through that one. Huge shout-out to all my buddies who came over and helped out, uh, especially Uncle Ken, uh, Roadblock, Dammit Donnie, and I guess Brad for emotional support. An even bigger shout-out to all the sponsors for this episode, Bunk King, Hammerhead Designs, GTZ Powder Coating, and last but not least, Quad Lock Phone Mount Systems. As always, expect a first impressions as well as a long-term review video for all those products and also expect to see a lot more stuff coming from GTZ. I've already got pretty much all the OG crew kind of biting at the bit, trying to get what parts they want to get done. So please guys, uh, support those who support me. I'm going to include links to all of the products, all of the websites down in the description. Uh, go and tell them Biker Bird sent you so they can continue to support me. Well guys, if you have any questions or comments, course leave them down in the comment section below and if you like this video for any rhyme or reason go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already what the hell are you doing go ahead and punch that subscribe button and as always thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time